Hello again, YouTube. This is my uh, second part to the hybrid question that I pose to people. Um, I actually am looking at my page right now, while well, at least the uh, the video for that, and looking at some of the uh, responses that I've gotten so far. Um, I I was talking about to somebody about the the bow constrictor crosses and stuff like that. And uh, some people said that some of them don't work. Um, I think they were saying that, like, you know, if you do the, uh, the uh, tree types, like the, uh, the, uh, the green to, uh, to the Amazons, they, they'll work in the crosses. And I actually seen a video of the, what they look like. And they're pretty nice. But, uh... I don't know, I'm not so sure. I would love to see uh, Common Boa to uh, Anaconda. I think that would be pretty interesting. Uh, King Rats uh, sound pretty cool. Uh, the Carpondros, like I've said before, I like those. And um, For me, though, I, like I said, it's, it's all about the visuals. So if I wanted to do a cross, I, I would... I'm looking at the snake... And I'm looking at the possibilities of uh, what kind of coloration, what kind of patterns could come out of that. Uh, w a few that I'd like to try, one of the top ones I've been thinking about and really interested in uh, getting a hold of is a possibly a male super dwarf retic. Because I, I would be interested in crossing that with a ball python. So you get a, a super dwarf retic crossed with a uh, ball python. I think if you could get the either the coloring or the patterning of the retic on a ball python, that would be amazing. I think that just the coloration alone, even if you were maybe even like a a, a platinum tiger or something like that, and get the colors out of that into a ball python, oh my god, that that would just be sick. Uh, another one, and I've actually been thinking about it since I've uh, gotten her uh, crossing her the. Uh, female rough scale sambo that I have and crossing that with my annery Kenyan male uh, I think that would be really cool because like I said uh, they've done the, the refuskin uh, crosses with the sambos and you get the stripes so uh, seeing uh, uh, rough scale and also rough scales get a little bit bigger they're the larger ones of the uh, sambos I believe they, the uh, rough scales get three and a half feet, where the basic Kenyans get about three feet uh, female-wise, and then two feet for the males. Uh, but I, I'm I'm not so sure about some of them though. But like I said, visuals comes first. So if I do any crosses, it's going to be for the colors and patterns. So. And another one I'd, I'd be interested in, since I have them now, is the albino blood male that I have now. And maybe crossing that to one of my uh, normal females and then seeing what I can get out of that. And maybe breed that back to the uh, male to see if I can get maybe uh, an albino version, which would be pretty interesting. Or maybe even try to get another female and then using that and then uh, get one of my uh, normal males to go to a uh, albino, albino blood female. I, I would really like to see a, a super ball albino. That's, that's my thing. I think if you could get some of the morphs, morph genes to work like the albinos or ghost or something like that to work into some of them, I think that would be... The way to go if you're doing hybrids to see if you can get some of the morph genes to work that would be amazing um i hope people keep posting and uh uh i'm curious to see what kind of ideas of uh people you know what would you like to see as a morph i know some of the more common ones but what do you think of some of the other stuff that you may think would work crosswise for snakes all right, I'm going to cut it there. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.